Good morning, everybody. We're here just outside of Thunder Bay, Ontario. We got old Blue pulling some blue freight. We're pulling this to Laval, Quebec. It came from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Up here in Canada. So we're going through Northern Ontario today, getting as far as we can, and then we'll have a little bit more to do tomorrow yet, and then we unload at 7.30 a.m. the following morning. That's Tuesday morning. So the truck's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Let's get out there, let's do some trucking. And let's burn some diesel fuel. Let's get rolling, people. So we're actually gonna fuel up in Kappa's casing today. It's actually got the cheapest fuel in Northern Ontario for some reason. Usually it's the most expensive up there. That's like at the top of Highway 11, all the way up at the north. but a cent cheaper per liter. So not like it's a lot, but they still win me over. Cause I'm stopping there for a shower anyway. So we're gonna stop, get some fuel, get a shower. Take it from there. We wanna get as far as we humanly possibly legally can today. So uh, we're gonna be go, go, going. Across Highway 17 here. Uh, we're not gonna go right through the entire city of Thunder Bay because that'd be silly. There's a little bypass right here, Highway 102, that we take to go around most of it. It's just right in front of me. If we wanted to go into the city, we'd turn right here. Instead, we'll go straight. Off we go. The day has begun. Can't go back now. free one. <laughs> oh, it always makes your day, doesn't it? Oh, my camera's sitting crooked here. Apologies. There you go. Right on. So, let's get back out there on the road. Holy, the sign here says $1.76 per liter. Whew. Whew. Look at this thing. Look. Turn around. Turn around, everybody. Look at this. I don't know if you can see, but right there, $1.75.9 a liter. What is this world coming to? That's crazy. And and you know, the world is kind of in chaos right now, but it could get a lot of, a lot worse quickly. There's a bunch of conflicts going on in the other side of the world that, uh, you know, if things hop off, pop off, 
whatever the saying is, if, if things get worse there, you know, oil prices could go even higher. Let's just hope that that doesn't happen. Let's hope for uh, some peace in this world and some cheap diesel fuel. Speaking of which, let's get back on the road. Long way to go. We have only just begun our day. Long, long way to go. themselves up on this highway because this highway has a reputation and uh, I'll just leave it at that continue on this road for 614 kilometers so everybody I hope you brought your helmets because we're going on highway 11 should be fun
sign holders, I guess. Now they have little machines with those arms. Even the sign holders are losing their jobs to technology. Yikes. green light why has everyone else got a green light there we go 
Don't leave me out. Usually when I stay in uh, in Hearst, Ontario here, I'm, I stay at the Esso just up here. Probably recognize that big yellow crane off to the left there. It's just out of, out of the shot now. It's usually right behind the parking lot where we park. There's a long lineup for a shower. I'll shower at the end of my day. I'll find a place somewhere else. It's... I have three showers built up on my card now that I can use up at Flying J, Canada or the US, doesn't matter what side I'm on. But, uh... yeah, oh well. It's okay, we can get further ahead this way. So I filled up for 458 liters or 120 gallons. Uh, it was 1,300 kilometers, well, 1,301, but 1,300 kilometers since I last filled up, and that would be, uh, i got to do the math here, 1,300 divided by 1.61, 807 miles, 800 miles, so uh, we averaged 6.68 miles per gallon US, or 35.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Not bad, actually pretty good for going through Ontario here. Uh, this load behind me is really nice. It's super light and the air just, just slips right around it. I love it. Okay, but now our daylight is leaving us. It's a little early for that, I think, but 6.30 here right now. Be careful, don't touch my hood. Tupperware torpedo. All right. Okay, it's time to go into the night, into the darkness. We don't stop for nighttime. We got things to do, places to be. I have 953 kilometers left to my destination. We're not gonna get there tonight. We'll get uh, within six, six to seven hours. So I have another six hours available to me to drive right now. We'll get into Quebec somewhere.
weekend, just now when I was at home, I scaled myself in at 202 pounds, down from 228. So what is that, 26 pounds that I've lost now? We're still going down. We're gonna go down until we're in that healthy weight range set by doctors on Google. Apparently, I'm 5'10". I'm 5'10", so apparently my healthy weight would be between like 145 and 180 or something like that. So we're gonna get down to 180, see how I feel, and maybe bring it down to 170 yet, just to be right in the middle of that healthy range. But uh, we'll see. We are on our way down though, and it's uh, we've been having some pretty good success. By Christmas time, we should be at our goal, I think. stop in Val d'Or. Uh, there's a Ultramar pipeline truck stop there. Hopefully we'll find a parking spot. We should. It's a pretty small town. It shouldn't be too full. It's about another 15 minutes down the road from here. I don't know what this town is. I'm trying to look at the signs. I must have missed the town name somewhere. Fifteen minutes west of Valdor, that's where we are. And everybody's sleeping. The time here is 12.30 in the morning. It's 11.30 central time back home. We've got 30 minutes left on our clock to drive, so it's, there better be a spot in Valdor. <laughs> we're gonna make one. I've got eight minutes left on my clock. Approaching destination in 200 meters on the left side. Where is the entrance here? You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Pipeline. Here we go. Oh, thank goodness they have parking. Six minutes left on my 13 hours of driving. And this is what 13 hours of driving looks like. Yep. Well, let's go outside. Check to make sure we're parked straight in the lines. Oh, man. There's a lot of parking available here. There's two spots beside me here, yeah. There's a whole bunch back there. There's a beautiful peat on the other side here. It's one thing about Quebec. Man, they got a lot of nice trucks here. Look at that. That's just like par for the course for Quebec. It's beautiful. And there's Old Blue. And that thing's beautiful. Yeah, we look like we're nicely in the lines. All the freight is still here. Fantastic. Still tied down. There's another beautiful uh, W990 over there. A lot of 990s in Quebec. A very popular truck. I have the W900, and the 990 is sort of like the next generation of it. If they discontinue the W900 one day, which I, I really hope they don't, I hope they keep making it, uh, I would find myself in a W990 eventually. And we'll see what the future brings. There we go. Time to go to bed. I wonder what these numbers are for down here. 80, 80, oh, well, it's probably 80 foot. Probably like an 80 foot spot, right? That's what I would think.
I don't think this is reserved parking. I mean, there's nobody here, so... I mean, if they want to wake me up in the morning and tell me to move, okay. I'm gonna get going as soon as I can anyway. I think all of these spots have that on the... Yeah, they all say 80 on the bottom. Okay, well, I'm not too worried about it then. I'm out of the way, I should be good there. So thanks for tagging along and hanging out with me. It was a long day. We got almost 1,200 kilometers in. All right, one second here, let's see. 1,187 kilometers done. Uh, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. For my American friends and freedom units, that would be 737 miles. You can get a little bit further on Canadian hours of service. Make a little bit more money in a day. So tomorrow we only have 500 kilometers left to go. And that's like 350 miles. So half a day. Looking forward to it. That's 350 miles, right? Oh, now I've got to do the math again. I've got my calculator down here. One second. Yeah, one second. Pretty sure. 500 kilometers. 310 miles. I guess there's a little difference there. But 300 miles. Why did I say 350? Ah, my brain's starting to shut down. It's time to go to bed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And leave me a comment down below telling me you're new so we can all welcome you. And if you've been around for a while or if this is a couple of videos that you've watched already, uh, leave me a comment down below anyways. Let me know what you think. Uh, have you ever been to Quebec? Let me know down below. When were you in Quebec last? Do you live here? I'd love to know. If you want to take it one step further, you can always become a member by clicking the Join Now button. You get early access to the videos then if that's your thing. If you really like my videos. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Use your turn signals when you're out there. Use them properly. Please. <laughs> Too many people, they turn their turn signals on after they already maneuver. I don't need to know what you've already done. I'd prefer to know what you are planning to do. And please make sure all your lights work. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, how do I turn this thing off?